Hello and welcome to a game between Idra and Ace. Idra will be playing as the Red Zerg player at the lower right hand side, and Ace will be playing as the Blue Protoss player at the lower left hand side. This is GG Face. The map is going to be Shakura's Plateau, and it appears that Ace has already correctly guessed the location for Idra, and he has also placed a pylon at the top of the ramp. And of course, the Overlord is going to be flying into the base of Ace momentarily, and there is going to be a spawning pool as well as an extractor, both at around 14 population for Hydra. Hydra does also have one Overlord directly hovering over the natural expansion, so he probably knows that there is going to be a probe there. A forge is going up, and Ace's probe is going to pick up some minerals as he is going to be going back to his base to deliver those things. Drone and probe dancing, and these players APMs are absolutely insane because that is just a huge number for this stage in the game and spawning pool has finished and we do see a queen immediately coming and this overlord is going to be able to find out that there is a forge along with an expansion already notice that the nexus has already been down for it seems 19 20 seconds and that's quite a bit of time as Idra has not yet gotten his expansion up and running just yet. The hatchery is not placed and ooh, he actually does delay the expansion for Idra and Ace is still in his face. And Idra's not gotta be not too happy about that as two zerglings are gonna come along the way and ooh, he actually gets the hatchery down that time. And at this time, there's going to be one gateway as well as one cannon for Ace. And Ace is going to be running his probe away. And of course, inside the base of Hydra, there is going to be metabolic boost research from the spawning pool. And at this moment, there is going to be about an even number of units for both players as there are going to be about 19 probes and 17 drones and of course four zerglings and those zerglings are just chasing those probes one's running away one's running toward and it looks like ace is going to try to get some more scouting information from this probe will he make it inside the queen is waiting for him and there's a cyber core going up inside the natural expansion closing off this wall of one pylon powering one two three four structures very very dangerous but more and more probes are going to be built at this moment one probe does go down the second probe is probably going to go down as well as it does go down their units lost tab does reflect that ace has already lost two probes for the purposes of scouting and we do see a roach one coming online for idra at this one ace is going to be making a ton of minerals as he is going to be closing that gap he has built the nexus a little early slightly earlier than idra and he's also going to be taking the gas that is why he was behind economically idra has not yet taken the second gas and Idra is going to go for this set of destructible rocks as he wants to take revenge for game number one. Game number one was absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen it, definitely do watch it. That is one of the games you should definitely watch. Whether you play I, whether you play Protoss, Terran, or Zerg, I was going to say whether you play as Idra or Ace, that does not make any sense. Stargate is being opened once again by Ace at the natural expansion. This time, not inside his expansion, and this set of destructible rocks is going down really quickly. And we see seven roaches going to be spawning momentarily for Idra as this Stargate is only about fifty. 50 or 60 percent complete set of those rocks are going to go down there are cannons at the front but there's absolutely no cannons in the back there is only one pylon there and Idra might be able to absolutely zerg rush his opponent if he were to make it across and he is making a lot of roaches we can see now that there's a differential in terms of income because Idra is going to go for a very army heavy not very very happy about the first game I suppose and he is coming across waiting for those roaches to spawn more roaches on the way he is going to be making roaches non-stop it appears as soon as he gets mineral it goes into those roaches and you can see over here mineral and gas very very low both under 100 and I think at this time Ace might catch a glimpse of this Ooh, I think he just saw it he sees that there is going to be trouble he brings over one sentry and that's not going to be enough and he is corner booting another sentry Boy Ray's coming out, and the sentry is going to start shooting at the Zergling. He needs to put down the Force Rider. He does put down the Force Rider. There's going to be one cannon going up, but I think he's going to lose this. He does not have enough for another Force Rider. He needs 10 more seconds. The other sentry is on the way, but won't make it in time. Sentry is going to run back. Boy Ray's will be able to have free reign over these units, and the cannon is not going to go up in time. He pulls all of his probes except for two that were inside the simulator, and the roaches are running. And they're running cannons being opened up here. Force Field guarding himself off. And this is going to go down. Nexus is going to go down. Cannon being fired at by the Roaches also firing back. And this Voiray is going to save potentially Ace. Or maybe not. Ooh, one Roach gets through. And there's going to be need 
He's going to need more force fields and more units very, very soon. This is crisis management at his finest by Ace so far. And Ace is holding this off, but he is going to lose his nexus. He actually has not yet killed off the two probes that are actually gathering gas for Ace at this moment. And the two probes finally go down, and now Idra is going to retreat. Army is going to be at 40 versus 49. The advantage actually for Ace at this moment. Surprisingly, he does have slightly more probes and he is going to rebuild the Nexus immediately. And the two Voirays are going to come across to harass possibly. And the Voiray is going to charge up on the Overlord. This Voiray has 5 kills. This Overlord has 8 kills. And they're going to be mentors and they're going to run back. One very good sentry force field there, preventing those Zerglings from running in. Those Zerglings are running back to the base of Idra. Idra does not yet have his second gas. He only has one gas with three drones on it. He is going to be in some trouble as he needs to probably make some anti-air defense. He does have two queens in the main right now. And this one Phoenix does not yet have one kill, but will be getting his first kill very, very shortly. Eight and nine kills for the Void Rays, respectively. And there is going to be three queens trying to defend for Idra as Idra is being pressured by his opponent, Ace. And Ace is going to come in here once again. And he's going to start sniping off these overlords. Population right now is going to be a 57-57. Almost exactly dead even actually. There's going to be a robotics facility being built by Ace at this moment. And he might lose that Void Ray. The Void Ray is very very close to death. And he is bouncing back and forth. And he is in the red. He's in the red. 10 HP. 1 HP. And he does lose it finally. And he is going to need some more queens to defend against this air. Because he simply does not have enough gas. He needs to put more gas if he wants to but he has sacrificed tremendously for his economy that's why he can't really go for that much gas because then he will have very very little mineral income and his opponent it, ooh, Idra is going to get the gas now I suppose <laughs> and there is going to be another overlord that will be sacrificed more and more queens are being made at this time and Idra is trying to do some sort of pressure on his opponent but is absolutely blocked off at the front and the Void Rays along with the Phoenixes are wrecking havoc on Idris army and he could possibly pick this one up as well. He does pick it up and the Queen is going to go down. Great Phoenix and Void Ray play from Ace and he is rank master with this Void Ray with 17 kills. And he's going to pick up this Queen as well. More Phoenixes showing up and we will see Colossus. There's going to be a robotics bait. This game is absolutely insane. He is defending his base quite well actually. There's only Zerglings outside his natural expansion he can't simply get in and this Hydralis is going to be get picked up as well. Idra is in a lot of trouble. He sacrificed tremendously for his economy to get a lot of those roaches out very very early but he is losing it and this master may go down and the master does go down with 19 kills. Very very nice master there and we see five phoenixes flying back and forth still harassing and we will see some zerglings back bouncing back and forth. The income tab showing Idra at a tremendous disadvantage because he were he was forced to rebuild a lot of those overlords and a lot of queens and that is a lot of minerals he does not have and he does have two extractor up but those extractors are not being minded at this moment because he still needs mineral income and he is going to be able to snipe away that one more queen and these are links still not being able to do too much as they're just bouncing back and forth there and we can see now there's a total of four gateways being opened on top of this one gateway there's going to be a total of five gateways along with the first colossus on the way and these phoenix are still laying havoc to Idra's economy I can't believe this Idra is not able to defend against these phoenixes and he is going to suffer very very soon as he still does not have any drones on those extractors he did build those extractors maybe he forgot or maybe he does not want to mine from them just yet army size is going to be at 80 versus 68. I can't believe this. The Protoss player is really ahead now as he does have better tech and also better units and more of them. And he is going to be pushing out momentarily as he does have a lot of sentries. He is warping in a lot of zealots. And this set of phoenixes, man, that's a lot of kills. Two kills, three kills, two kills, one kill, and two kills as well. Colossus coming along the way. There will be the thermal lands extended. That is really, really extended and really thermally lancy. Hydralis then is going to make more and more Hydralis and there is going to be another battle really really shortly as these Hydralis almost got off a kill on those Phoenixes and we can see here Hydra is actually pushed for a lot of minerals he is really really short and the army size is going to be at 90 versus 104 and Ace is going to make a push here he has a lot of army this is a really large army 6 Zealots, 5 Stalkers, 6 Stalkers and 2 Colossus only 1 Colossus with it but there is a total of 6 
phoenixes and he is warping in a lot more stalkers and Idra is in trouble Idra sees this army he sees the colossus and he ggs wow that was such a good game hope you guys enjoyed that as much as i did i am totally gonna rewatch that over and over again and beam zoom zoom goes the beam beam thanks for watching see you guys at the next game